Microwave Office has antenna capabilities built into it. You can look at 2D polar antenna plots, you can look at 3D plots, and you can excite the antennas in various ways. The new planar EM course for Microwave Office covers antennas using Axiom planar simulator, and so is mainly useful for patch arrays. Let me give you an example here. Uh, these are two patches driven by two different ports, and we want to look at the pattern. The first important thing you have to realize is you have to, when you look at the options for the EM project, make sure under the general tab you have checked the antenna box. This is critical because you want to save the antenna patterns, calculate them, save them in a data set. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and create a uh, graph. And I've created one here for us, gain two patches. There are three curves here. Uh, what all of these are plotting is the total power density in the theta cut. Let's take a look at one of these measurements, how I set it up. The antenna measurements are under the category electromagnetic antenna. You can sweep in frequency, the phi direction, which would be the standard definition of phi, and the theta direction, standard definition, theta equals zero vertically upward, theta 90 degrees on the XY plane. I'm looking at the total power, patch antenna, and I'm looking at five gigahertz, and I'm asking for magnitude dB of the power density. The other two measurements are the same, except what I've done differently is I've checked boxes in the measurement. Let me bring this one up for instance. Quickly, you see how I have include, radiation, re, include resistive losses? What that does is it accounts for the loss of the metal and dielectric. In other words, it's the definition of gain. The first measurement was directive gain. Finally, in the third measurement, I asked for also to include the reflection losses because of the mismatch to the input of the antenna. That's called the realized gain, and you can see it's quite a bit less than the directive gain. It's not a well-matched antenna. You have similar plots in 3D. Very quickly, let me show you that. We go back to the project, patch array, and I set this up with what's called an annotation. Let me show you what that looks like. It's under annotation antenna 3D, similar menu. And when we go ahead and simulate, we get this. So we basically now have the pattern, in this case of the total power, and you can see what it looks like in 3D. You can also plot the theta component of the electric field, the phi, right hand, left hand circular polarization, etc., uh, using the similar antenna measurements.